Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to do another story behind the picture. This time we're going to do it of this fabulous photograph of model actor April Scott. So stay tuned and check it out. Well, welcome back. Now, how did I get this fabulous picture of April Scott? Well, April and I were chatting via email about uh, doing a shoot together and she needed some content for her Instagram and also some, uh, some stock photographs for some editorial for some magazines. So we thought about different locations and we came up with the idea that maybe the best thing to do would be for me to go out to her home in Palm Desert. So that wasn't uh, too bad of a drive. So I just drove out to her house and took a bunch of outfits with me. She also had a bunch of outfits as well. So we thought between the two of us, we could come up with some ideas. Now, when you go out on a location like this and you don't have a kind of a, an idea, no one sends you any pictures or, or uh, you get a video of the location, you just sort of have to think on your feet and figure out what sort of backgrounds I wanted to use for some of the outfits that she had got and I had got. And uh, between us, we came up with some, uh, some great ideas. Now, one of them is this doorway. And as you can see here, it's uh, right there as you walk into a home. Now, the thing I liked about the doorway was that it had this beautiful maroon color to it, and it was also kind of ornate, something a little bit different. So I thought it'd make a great backdrop. Now, the doorway is in open shade. So when the model is gonna stand in open shade, it's gonna be pretty much flat light. So I wanted to pump the light up a little bit. And in order to do that, I could either reflect some sunlight back in using a reflector or I could pop it with a strobe. Now, I have a ring light that I like to use, so I decided I would do the ring light thing. And as you can see here, how it's connected to my camera on a rail and I can move the camera back and forth to get the balance just right because I'm gonna hand hold this thing. Now, the beauty of a ring light is it puts out some nice bright light and lights up your subject matter really well and it's kind of shadowless light so it's kind of uh, interesting uh, for us fashion guys we figured out an outfit the black that was sort of semi-transparent with a bra over the top of it and some sexy stockings that i'd got in Covent garden in london so you can see here she's moving around in front of the camera and giving me some poses some attitude and all this kind of jazz now when you have a model that's just standing there you want to try to get a little bit of an attitude from her um, you know, a little bit of tension, a little bit of posing, you know, moving around. And uh, I find sometimes the best thing to do is to take some ideas out of magazines and suggest those to the model. Now, April is a seasoned pro, so there was no reason for me to show her or tell her what to do. She pretty much uh, did it uh, automatic, kind of clockwork, if you like. So I've got April standing with the door a little further away. I've got the light set up and uh, I'm shooting at one hundredth of a second at 6.3 so I can just drop the background a little bit of out of focus so it gives it a little softness and then the strobe itself is lighting her up. Now the ISO was set at 200 so I could get uh, the shade uh, exposed correctly. Now balancing these two gives me a, a great exposure and of course on the back of the camera now we can see the little instant Polaroid, a digital Polaroid if you like, so we can check our exposure and look at it. Some of you might want to either tether or take the the, uh, the card out of your camera and look at it on the computer, but I can pretty much tell by looking at the back of my camera how it's going to be. I've got April set up in the foyer with the door in the background and we got some moves figured out that we're going to do, some pulling on the outfit, some pulling on the stockings, a little bit of attitude. And the other thing is, is that I might want to zoom in a little bit or zoom out. Now, if I walk into the shot with a strobe, it's going to get brighter and it's going to overexpose my model. And if I move away, it's going to get underexposed. So my tip is use a zoom lens. That way you can zoom in on your subject matter and you can zoom back out again and get the looks you want without having to mess around changing or figuring out your exposure. So once we did that, we just shot off a bunch of stuff. And again, you can see she's pulling off the poses, looks really good. And uh, I took a couple of those pictures into Photoshop. I gave one of them a little bit of a tint, a little bit of a color just to emphasize a little bit, and I ended up with this fabulous shot, which I think you can all agree is really fabulous. So that's how I got that photograph, working with April Scott. Now, if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting stuff on there, 
that I talk about. Great photographs for inspiration might, uh, you know, get you motivated into a new idea for yourselves. Or you could download a PDF, a book that I've got Playboy Playmate Arena Vornina on the cover, and I tell you how I got that shot. And there's lots of things in that PDF that can also help inspire you into some of your own projects. Follow me on Instagram or check out my website, my blog. There's always something new on there. And thanks for subscribing if you have. And if you haven't, maybe it's time for you to subscribe. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.